Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review of Marvel Comics The Variant Covers. Now this is by John Rett Thomas, about 220 odd pages in colour all the way through. Just quickly flick through, you can see colour all the way through. You can see it's a very nice sizable chunky book. Now this just come out, so 221 and well I would have to say I'm so from Insight Comics. You can see it's a nice chunky book. I mean, this is quite a size, this book. Absolutely decent quite. Not a mega fan of variants, put that right out, but at the same time, wow, it's a symbol of just some this is just a brilliant art collection. If just completely ignore that it's variant covers and just look at it as an art collection. I mean, I just think this is just amazing. Now I'm not going to show all of it, so my apologies for people who are thinking, oh, I want to see more of the book. I don't want to show all the book because at the end of the day, this is a sort of book rush out and buy as far as I'm concerned. I think this is just great. But I will show obviously some examples just to hopefully whet the appetite because obviously I can't really talk about much about the text because there isn't much. I mean, it's a little bit. They give a description, a little bit of uh, the name, the date and all those sorts of things. But that's about it. So we're not talking a huge amount, which of course is what you expect from a variant covers book. It'd be very weird if there's lots of, there's the contents. So you've got a variety of things. You've got the Avengers, Captain America, Iron Man, all the characters. You've got variant themes, obviously, cancer awareness, comics in the making, anniversaries, animals, monster covers, character themes. You've also got the artists. You've got uh, Michael Cho, J. Scott Campbell. Not all of your probably favourite artists are in here. You've also got uh, Stephanie Hands, Alex Ross, and so on. Obviously, in conclusion there as well. So brilliant Deadpool, of course, Wolverine, villains, and so on and so on. So you've got an introduction there. Also got the embossed one there. Now it's probably the weakest of all of them because it's slightly blurred because it is embossed gold. So it's probably hard to capture exactly as super sharp as you'd expect. But it's got a little bit of description. So there's not much. We're not talking, you've got a little bit of text there. But every single one has a bit of text. You've got there the Daredevil one. You've got J. Scott Campbell, and it's got a bit about the... Uh, from him, talking about his first cover, the date, etc. And obviously the issue number. Jim Lee one there, brilliant X-Men number one. Variant themes, you've got uh, obviously Women of Marvel. Oh, look at that, lovely, my, my favourites. Good old Wasp. Mockingbird as well. You've got um, Howard the Duck. Zombie ones there. And, and vampires. So vampires get in there as well. You've got Captain America as a vampire. I mean, these ones are great, the monster ones as well. You've got animals, you've got lovely ones, these animals you've got. So, cancer awareness, steam, you've got uh, Spider-Man, oh, anniversary, so you've got lovely one of Spidey there. Stab oh, I mean, that's just beautiful, look at that. And you've got Marvel Comics, Marvel Mystery Comics on the other side with obviously Blonde Phantom, Destroyer, etc. Miss America on that cover. You've got the characters, and you've got a lovely fold-out one as well, which... I have to be careful not to suddenly damage a book. Obviously, you have the Avengers, and I'm just going to open it up slightly. And obviously, there, just all of the uh, lots of characters all across the Marvel Universe. My apologies, I can't hold it and show. I know everyone will turn around and say, Why don't you do it from above? I'm not too keen on that. However, and I'm now just going to probably damage the book, and you've got just more examples all the way through. You've got the Hulk, Captain Marvel. Street level heroes, you've got Jessica Jones, you've got Daredevil, of course, you've got the Fantastic Four, just glorious. There's some pages with like four on the page, some with a full page, and that is just beautiful one. Fantastic Four variant, Mit the Madman one. I just loved it. Madman, great series, and a brilliant cover there. You've got the whole Grot, or Groot, whatever. Uh, oh, that's another one, is that? Wolverine, oh, Wolverine. Oh, right, <laughs> of course, I can see his, uh, yeah. Obviously, should have guessed when I said, uh, must admit, I don't know of any of these covers, virtually all of them, none of them I've seen. So uh, these are all just new, but I just think they're wow. And also the artist, of course, he's got my favourite artist, Michael Allred. I love Michael Allred's work. So that one, I would love to have seen a full page one. You've got the X-Men, the original X-Men, just glorious. Oh, and that one as well, Silver Surfer. I loved that omnibus edition. That was so beautiful. Oh, John. J. Scott Campbell, love those. Oh, that beautiful. That would have been brilliant. The Haw Hawkeye one there, all new Hawkeye. And actually, I love all the other covers as well. Michael Cho, just superb. But I did love the Hawkeye ones. They were just great covers. Oh, they're wow as well. Marvel Comics presents Birth of the Space Age. Oh, it's Michael Cho. 
Wow. And there's so many, just so many beautiful. Ooh. This book is quite hefty. Also, Alex Ross, my favourite. Just some, oh, again, unfortunately, would be the, every page there's four or two or something. You think, oh, why couldn't that have been a full page? Would have been nice. However, there is quite a lot of covers in this. I mean, obviously, there's 200 odd pages, so I guess there must be nearly, well, I don't know. I haven't counted them. One, two, three, four. I haven't, but it's certainly a lot. Probably 300 plus, 400 maybe. I don't know. Maybe even 500. Doesn't say actually, does it? That's, uh, I'm just being unfair by saying that. No. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> My apologies. It's 400 Marvel. It says it right at the front. Should, of course, notice that. However, four, over 400 covers. Well, I think they just look superb. The quality is really super sharp. So I wish I, I would have been on the fence for ages over this one. I was thinking, should I cancel? Because I, I pre-ordered it, I, I thought, uh, I don't know, I can't remember where I saw it, obviously probably some uh, video review or something someone mentioned, and I thought, oh, that looks good. And I'm mm, really glad I did get it in the end. I mean, this is just absolutely amazing book. Absolutely superb. Really, really recommended. I love art collections, and I have to say, this art collection is definitely going down as one of the best I've seen for a long time. Very quality, brilliant book. And it's good to see Marvel Comics do this sort of volume. It's sort of like the Dynamite Comics ones. They do lots of like the Red Sonja and, and uh, Deja Thoris and those sort of things. Real big, chunky books. And I love those. So it's great to see Marvel doing real nice, chunky ones. If only the Conan ones had been as good. I mean, I love the Marvel art of Conan, those sort of ones. But they just, if they had been like this, that would have been superb. Oh, well. I really think this is just excellent. If you're obviously on the fence thinking, should I buy, should I? I think personally, I think this is just lovely. Absolutely glorious art. If you love Marvel art, I think you will just absolutely adore this. Absolutely brilliant. So, totally recommended. Sorry about the phone call. Always oh, away in the middle of the thing, isn't it? 